Hello everyone, it's your girl, Kelsey's Claws, and welcome back to my channel. For this video, I created a 3D My Little Pony. This is Twilight Sparkle, so if you want to see how I created it, keep watching. Start by applying two coats of Lemon Drops by Glitter Bells. It's a super pretty muted yellow. I think it's such a beautiful color. So after you apply your two coats, go in with your matte top coat. This is I'm a Matte by On Vogue The Gel Company. Cure and we're on to building our Twilight Sparkle. I tried to match the color acrylics as closely to her true color as possible, so I found unicorn tears or lavender would work to build her body. Start with building the head and shape it. Don't forget that snout nose part that horses have. It sticks out more than the rest of the head. Go on to the neck and then the body down the rest of the nail. Keep this relatively flat. Extend a tiny bead for the ear and blend it into the head. Then, going in with blue velvet, place a bead for her hair and pat and press it out until you're happy, but make sure it goes matte because you'll have the utmost control. Then, take your cutter and cut out that tiny piece of her bangs, you know, like that little piece that it shows in the picture, and extend her hair down her neck and her back so it visually flows. Then going in with purple rain and highlighter pink, add two sections of color. And for those finer details, you can see that we switched over to our 3D brush. We will use Snowdrops White for the eyes. Let the bead polymerize a bit before you start to press it out. That way, it will help keep that round shape. And then stroke around it to create an upside down egg where the top of the egg is pointing at the snout. Don't ask me why, this is just the way it's drawn. I have no clue why they have upside down eggs for eyes, but anyways, going in with royal purple for the iris and carbon black for the pupil. Use these beads in a medium consistency, so not too wet and not too dry, and you'll have more control with it. And then build up the rest of the face to make it more 3D so the eyes don't bulge out. The key to this is blend, 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 so there's no harsh lines. So then give her a cute little horn and build up her mane on the side of the nail. On backing paper, use unicorn tears to create two legs and hooves and a wing to really bring this character to life. You want that leg to be bent to create the movement. The wing is double layered, so to add more definition to that wing, apply a wet bead of royal purple and then unicorn tears on top of that after it's cured. So then you'll build up the second part of the wing. The wing is all about patting and pressing and poking because the unicorn wing for My Little Pony is actually quite simple. So it's just no defined feathers, but more so just poked little areas. <laughs> Add a few shadows with royal purple. And attach her wing using unicorn tears. You could use that or you could use clear acrylic. And then just blend it into the body so you can't see that you attached it separately. And repeat this process for her two legs and hooves. Okay, now here's a super important part before you paint. You have to cover it all in matte top coat because if you do not, the paint will just suck into the acrylic and it will just become a mess. So make sure that you matte top coat before you go in with your paint. So for the paint, I use black gloss and white gloss from Glitter Bells and neon purple from On Vogue. So I've found when using gel polish to paint anything on a nail, it's really important to cure after every single line or stroke because it will bleed if you don't. In order to add some highlights, I just used a little bit of white gloss and then I blended it out with my dry brush. After every single stroke of this fine line detail, I am curing because I do not want that gel paint to bleed or run or anything. You want those clean, crisp lines so that it really makes it look like the actual cartoon. 
So to finish it up, make sure that every nook, cranny, and crevice is covered in matte top coat. Cure that. Go around with your lemon drops just to make sure that that nice clean background is there. I went in with diamond dust. I know Glitter Bell has rainbow pop. I just don't have that. So I used this one just to give it a little extra sparkle and there you go. And here is the finished design. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this design, please give the video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and let me know if you want to see more 3D work of other characters or more My Little Pony. So until next time, bye.